So I'm going to do a mechanism uh, to draw a uh, right strophoid. There's the mechanism there. I want to do one of those curves, the one that the center of the X does, uh, does. We're, we're talking about the, uh, the mechanism of that page. Now it's, it's interesting to get this done um, using uh, GX web. Um, we're going to need to do a little bit of uh, fancy footwork and involve um, the, using a bit of computer algebra and we'll invoke um, Wolfram Alpha to get that done. Um, okay, so uh, let's put our axes up there. Um, there's going to be a fixed point. Uh, we'll stick that there and we'll specify its distance from um, the y-axis. Make that A. Um, there's now going to be just a couple of line segments, one up to here and one down to here. Um, this line segment is going to be length A. And this line, this uh, line segment is going to be indeterminate length. It's going to slide through A, uh, but we want this angle here to be 90 degrees. Uh, this is where we have a problem because joint uh, expression GX web is not going to let us specify that angle. It basically um, is not able to sort out the geometry for us if we put that angle in. Um, so we have to give it a help. Uh, now clearly, uh, this makes us going to do this sort of thing, uh, but clearly we can specify where B is going to lie on uh, the y-axis. I'm going to do that using um, the point proportional along a line constraint. So this parameter t, if we look at it, uh, at this point it's got value t minus 1.7, etc. As it goes through the origin, it's got value zero and it goes positive up here. In actual fact, um, for the axis there, this parameter t is just um, the y coordinate of the point. But we can also, as you can imagine, we could put in an angle here between the y-axis and that line BC and we specify that to be theta. Now um, for a given theta you could find a t value for which this angle is right. So let me just put um, a numeric um, in my numeric panel angle BCA And uh, see, so we could just move the T until, until that gets to pi by two. Um, and that, for that value of theta, that would be um, a solution. Um, we'd like to do this once and for all. So what we'd like to do is find the T, the what uh, T value um, for a general theta. Uh, would make this angle 90 degrees. So what is that angle? Uh, symbolically, angle BCA Oh, it's an uh, inverse tangent. Um, and so we'd like to set that to be zero. Um, it's going to be a little bit a uh, nicer, I, I believe, I, I would rather just look at the cause of that. Um, so if the angle is going to be pi by two, then the cause of the angle is going to need to be zero. And so there's what the cause is. We'd, we'd like to find t that sets that equal to zero. Now, you can see that the numerator there is um, just linear in t, and so it'd be a simple uh, thing to solve by pencil and paper, but even simpler to solve with a, an algebra system, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so here's how to get this into an algebra system. First, I copy it as text. Now I want to go to Wolfram Alpha. So that's at wolframalpha.com. Um, wolframalpha.com. And I'm going to want to solve an equation. So I'm just going to type in solve, uh, open parentheses, and then uh, paste. And I get uh, what I had. 
and I want that to be zero. And I want to solve it for t, so I'll just put comma t. And close my parentheses. Uh, Wolfram Alpha is pretty uh, permissive. You can use all kinds of different uh, um, syntax, and it uh, and it will guess what it is you're asking for. Uh, but definitely worth making taking a, a glance to see is it actually solving the thing that I wanted. And here it's got result. Now there's a bit of a problem here. Um, GX Web doesn't like the sec function. Uh, the sec, in fact, um, if I remember it rightly, is one of our cause. Uh, then so GX Web would far rather have that as one of our cause. Let me. Uh, just check that out. I can. I'm looking at the plain text here, which I can copy, and then I can paste that back into Wolfram Alpha itself. Um, uh, saying t equals that, uh, I actually don't need the t, so let's get rid of that. And let's let Wolfram Alpha take a look at that. It should uh, give us it without this the sec as one of, as one of the options. Um, hopefully. Uh, okay, uh, so we've got some graphs instead. Here it is, uh, with the with the sec missing. Uh, let's look at that in plain text and copy it. So, having done our, our algebra off there in uh, Wolfram Alpha, we go back into GX Web. What we've computed is the right value for t to use, and so let's just throw that in there. Uh, paste it in from Wolfram Alpha, and uh, there we see. And uh, now the question is: Have we got have we got it right? What's the angle BCA? Uh, yes, indeed we have. It's pi by two, and so we can now. Uh, well, let's just see what happens when you move theta. Uh, there you see it's doing what we would like it to do is keeping that angle at 90 degrees. Uh, we can now find the locus of point C as theta varies. And uh, there we have the, the strophoid uh, curve. Um, what's this equation? There is its equation. 